Hi everyone, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. This is Heather Lloyd Martin and I'm CEO of SuccessWorks SEO Copywriting. Today we're going to start a new series, which is how to start an SEO copywriting business. It is a new year, it is 2013, and I know of a lot of folks that are looking to launch their own business, whether they have been thinking about it for a while and they want to start freelancing, or maybe they've been working in-house and they're looking to make that transition. So we're going to be talking about a number of things that people will need to think about before starting their business. And the first thing to think about is what will your copywriting niche be? How do you want to specialize or do you want to specialize? And the thing is you can make a little bit more money doing that or a lot more money and I'll be talking about why that is. So for examples of folks that have really targeted their markets and set up a niche, uh, there is Pam Foster. Uh, she has the website that is on the very top at petcopywriter.com and she's done a great job marketing her services to the pet related industry. So vets, uh, pet industry marketers, uh, people who sell things to folks in the pet industry and her entire website is geared just towards those folks. Uh, the bottom example, same thing. Linda Goldman, she specializes in natural health marketing. Uh, she uh, writes a copy for people who, who sell supplements. And so you can see again that she's really targeted her website towards that particular market. Now, there are some advantages of why folks should do this, or at least consider doing this in their business. There's nothing wrong with being a generalist. So if you are the type of person that enjoys working with multiple types of clients, that's cool. But for many people, they really appreciate having that niche because it allows them to focus. It also helps to command higher rates and have more marketing opportunities because you can walk into a meeting with a client and say that, I am the go-to copywriter for this industry. Here are some folks that I've worked with. Here are some things that I've done. So it automatically helps to build your brand and showcase your expertise. Also, when you're working within a particular industry vertical and a certain type of client, you have a really good idea of what those types of things those clients need for services. So they might need uh, white papers, they might need web page copy, they might be, need email autoresponders, and those are the main types of services that you can offer rather than trying to do everything across the board for everyone. Now, a nice thing about it is, too, that from the self-promotional standpoint and Google+, Plus, is if you're known for writing about a particular industry a lot and you're seen as an authority, that with author rank, that will help those articles and blog posts that you write, uh, write position better in the search engines, and you can they help to showcase you that way. It can help you make more money. You can tell clients, hey, you know, I've got 5,000 Twitter followers that are interested in my views on X. Uh, you can see the articles that I've written and, and how Google treats them. So it can really help build that brand. So that's where, where specialization can help. What can be tricky is figuring out what your niche will be. Uh, and there are some things that you can think about to help streamline that process. Uh, where have you worked in the past? I know people that have had jobs 20 years ago that they really enjoyed. And now they're thinking, wow, I can write copy for those kinds of folks. I can be the go-to SEO copywriter for that industry. You might want to look at your experience. So if you've been writing in-house for an agency, you might have worked with a variety of clients. And was there a particular type of client or experience that you really loved? Uh, what did you love writing about? Also, sometimes hobbies can turn into a really great niche. Um, I talked to a guy whose hobby is hockey, and he's built out a website just about how to play better recreational hockey, and he has products associated with it, and he does other things. So that's another thing that you can do, and you might be able to monetize it. Now, please know that it's okay if you can't figure this out right away, especially if you're brand new. Sometimes the best way to figure out what you love writing about is to take on a bunch of different types of clients, and then you can figure out, loved writing about this, didn't love this so much, and narrow it down from there. So don't let this get in the way of launching your business. Just know that as your business progresses and grows, 
having a niche can be a way that you can really establish yourself as an expert and make more money accordingly. But again, if this isn't where you want to go, that's cool, but it can, certainly has been very, very successful for a number of folks. And you'll have a number of leading experts that do encourage folks to find that niche because it's something that can perform really well for you. So where this uh, series is coming from is uh, it's based off of my copywriting business bootcamp series. And this is for folks, not just SEO copywriters, who want to learn how to make more money without working so darn hard. So if you'd like more information about that, you can visit my site at seocopywriting.com and find the link business bootcamp, learn all about it and all of the highly qualified instructors we have teaching the course. But if you want the freebie information first, just send an email to write for income at a Weber.com and it will start sending you some emails of things to start thinking about for your copywriting business. And also if you'd like just general SEO copywriting tips from the trenches, things that you can do to make your writing better for your readers as well as better for the search engines as well, uh, please consider signing up for my newsletter. You can get uh, daily or weekly updates or both. And again, you can sign up at seocopywriting.com. Thank you very much, everyone. If you have any questions about this video or if you have any suggestions about things that you want to know more about when you're starting your SEO copywriting business, I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can reach me at heather at seocopywriting.com or find me on Twitter at, at Heather Lloyd. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care and have a fantastic day.